Hey, what's up you guys? This is Ninja XTX and I'm back to share another video with you guys. This video is actually less than 7.34 and I will share down the screen series and we're continuing on with our lessons in Arabian Scimitar or the Arabian Scimitar Sword. Alright, so let's say I have the sword in a guard position like so. If someone comes down to get me it can immediately be raised to the roof block. Or if they come down to get me, I can immediately flick and chop chop the hand. Now, here's the thing. As I do this, my guard hand is here. Always here. So And the sword is possibly in my lap. Alright. So. As. The person is coming down. Or coming in. I'm going to immediately. Hit. Which is a slash. And I. Chop and slash. I'm going to take out anything in this vicinity. Then, I'm going to come back to the midline, chopping in the edge. As my opponent comes down, he's going to come down into my blade. Because passing is going to where the tip is. He'll come down in the tip of my blade. Then I can push him off, retracting my blade. So, all together, it looks like this. As I'm here, guarding, or keeping my guard. He comes down, chop, or chop and slash, because I'm chopping with the, with the bigger end of my blade, as I'm slashing with these, the smaller end, because you can see, it gets thin toward the bottom, but the main chopping edge is toward the top. So, I'm going to chop first, slash through, then as my opponent comes down, I'm going to roll if I have to, like I showed you guys. I'm going to roll the attack in case he comes with a secondary attack. I'm going to actually cross the body and roll. As I roll back up, look where my blade is. My blade meets him as he's coming down. So I can thrust. I can chop again. I can do a palm up thrust, I can do a palm down thrust. Now, if he's seriously a threat to me, as I roll out of this, I'm going to do a palm up thrust directly to the throat. But if he's not a th if he's not If he still has a weapon, but he's not that big of a threat to me, I'm going to trap his hand with my the pummel of my sword, and I might slash his fingers. If I feel like he's a serious threat, I'm going to just 
go ahead and chop his hand up and follow through. I hope that made sense for you guys. If it didn't, let me know, and I'll be happy to post the breakdown in an upcoming lesson. Peace, take care of yourselves and each other. One world, one love. If you have any questions, comments, or requests, please send them to my YouTube account. Or if you know how to get in touch with me on my personal Facebook, please do so there. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you learned something from the video. Goodbye for now.